Suge wasn't true to the game, that's why that crashed, dude. You know what I'm saying? He sat up there and didn't take care of Harry. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he wasn't prepared to the game, dude. That's why that crashed, dude. And they never, for once, they pressured the easy e out of no fucking doc, Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre left behind the money, man. That's what happened, dude. I ain't saying no names or nothing like that, but Harry already said it himself, but that's what happened. Harry always telling the truth, dude. You know what I'm saying? And you keep on bringing these weak death row people. You ain't got nobody that was there. I never seen them there. I never seen Reggie there. None of that shit. I used to go to Blackwell's every night or fucking, uh, What's that shit over there? Uh, what's that shit called? Montes. She used to be up there every night. Man, I don't want to pay for that brother food. I've never seen my J. LaShell or Reggie up there. You get somebody that's was there. You get, man, you, you wasting your money with them people, I swear. Call Shug, man. You never, you never hear nobody contest my shit, though. Because I'm like, whack 100. I keep it 100. He say he like whack one done it. He keep it one hundred, man. Done done it all. Done done it all. You understand me? Hey, you know what's crazy, right? Keefy D is hella funny, man. Speaking of whack one hundred, right? JT, you know he just was out there in LA doing this thing. Y'all remember JT and whack one hundred? They got into it, right? You know, whack one hundred. You know he banned. He she called himself banning JT from LA. This then the third. Which is kind of crazy because JT was out there. He definitely was mingling and doing his thing and chilling, you know, with a bunch of OGs out there. You know what I'm saying? He ended up linking up with Big U. You know what I'm saying? That's a trip. <laughs> also, though, speaking of uh, uh, whacking them and the whole situation with all that over there, right? Ray J. Ray J responded to, like, the extortion rumors and whatever. I don't know. It's crazy, right? Because they were saying... The only reason Kanye did the song with the game is because he wanted to get the footage back and this, that, and the third. And it was some type of extortion plot, which is kind of hard to believe because they seem to be vibing in that studio. Remember that clip? Remember that when they was in there vibing and the, when they first dropped that snippet? That shit was crazy, man. Um, but yeah, they, they was discussing the matters, right, on, on the Kim Kardashian show, right? Keeping up with the Kardashians. And Kanye ended up coming in there with the rest of the footage, right? Because we've been hearing it's supposed to be some old footage and this, that, and the third that they only got the first half for the feature. You know what I'm saying? What ended up happening is, man, I guess Kanye get the rest of the footage, right? And they in there crying and, and celebrating and they happy thanking Kanye, which was weird because it's like, y'all, they we heard them say it ain't no more nothing explicit on the tape. You know what I mean? If anything, it's just them you know, being a little, whatever, couple of fling or whatever it is, right? But that's weird because y'all was in there crying and acting like it was just such a big deal that y'all got it back. Like, what's the big deal if it ain't nothing on the tape? You know what I'm saying? Kim Kardashian and, and her peoples, whoever else was in the house with her, right, at the time, they was trying to, like, insinuate that Kanye may have paid for the, got extorted for the second half, too. You know what I'm saying? Kanye like, nah, we ain't getting extorted again. You know what I'm saying? So... That leads me to believe that Kanye, man, didn't try to, you know, he either he got some footage on Wack or Ray J. You know what I'm saying? He the key to tell Ray J, like, look, I know you be angry with Diddy. You know what I mean? So if you're going to, we gonna don't do this. You know, cause we can go footage for footage. Or, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know how, you know, niggas can only speculate about how Kanye got these second tapes back. He said he ain't even leave the airport. You know what I'm saying? Say he went up there and, and nigga and told him, give me Kim Kardashian tape and Bon Jovi's, nigga, because I know you got Bon Jovi's too. You know what I'm saying? And, and shit, he strolled back on the plane and did his thing. It's a trip. You know what I'm saying? That's a trip. I ain't going to lie. It really is kind of like, like I said, just judging from the chemistry, right, in the studio that night, it's hard for me to believe that it was a distortion or, you know what I'm saying? But shit, man, I... I don't know, man. Um, you know what's crazy, right? I, I mentioned about Kanye possibly, you know, trying to like, uh, you know, go to whack level with it. Because remember Hassan, this is kind of like where it stands from. Remember Hassan was saying, you know, the game and Whack 100 be going to Hollywood parties. This is why Whack 100 ended up flashing on Hassan after doing the interview with him in 6ix9ine. He said he didn't know Hassan Campbell 
you know, did videos on him in the game and was speaking on them. So he like, man, Hassan was saying that they be going to these parties and these Hollywood parties and you know how it be. In other news, though, we got, um, speaking to Kanye West, we got J.H.E. Ruger. And it's looking like uh, the business endeavors, right, that they did, it's paying off. You know what I'm saying? They definitely paid off in a major way because he was on live counting like 200 bands. You know what I mean? 200 large which is, which is some, you know, it's a cool thing. It's crazy sad that, you know, in order to keep these people kind of like sometimes, because, you know, they're going to put you in a different category. You either going to be like some type of black pecker ass rapper or like, you know what I'm saying? And that lane be kind of filled for you to just be a nigga who like, I don't care about money and I don't care about this. Niggas be wanting to see it. They want to see you flex and they want to see that you ain't wasting your time with the rapping. You know what I'm saying? And shit like that. Basically, people want to be inspired by people that they look up to. You know what I'm saying? And shit like that. They don't want to feel like niggas looking up to a bomb and shit. But that's just crazy, man. Um, I know he definitely inspired a lot of young niggas in Chicago with that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure a lot of niggas in town. He probably in a you know in a different when niggas get to start doing shit like that. You show 200, you in a safe environment. You feel like you know what I'm saying. You see in L.A., they don't care where you live at, man. They is coming over there and they we need that. You see in L.A., man. Y'all remember like last week, the lady right? She buying a watch or getting her watch clean. I don't know if it was a rich or it was an expensive watch. You know what I'm saying? Youngsters, right? She, they own her so hard. She breaks. Get on. They tap her with a car. No, not not fatally, though. You know what I'm saying? Tap her like boop, like a little boop to make her fall. Jump out the car, get watch, get back in car, and get on. I'm like, man, these youngsters is professionals. You know what I'm saying? Because another dummy would have ran her all the way over and then still tried to get, probably would have left after running her over, just been mad because they didn't get the watch. Ah. You know what I'm saying? Speed off. Now you now you in jail for a homie. Geeking. You, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, y'all niggas let me know what y'all think about, you know what I'm saying? The storage gym, blah blah, and Keefy D saying Wack 100 been real since he was a baby. You know what I'm saying? Keefy D say Wack 100 is keeping it real, nigga. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas might not like that. A lot of niggas don't like Keefy D, but a lot of niggas definitely think he's funny. That nigga's hilarious. I ain't gonna lie. Keefy D is hilarious. Yeah, y'all niggas let me know what y'all think, man. It's gang! Say, yo, you can't with that paper, ho.